cooking a Polish dish and having a Polish drink. This is called the Polish Martini. And what it consists of is vodka, honey liquor, and apple juice. We have our little shaker here, and we are going to start with the vodka. We have absolute vodka today. You basically will have your shaker already letting you know your measurements. The recipe calls for 50 milliliters. I'm a little bit of a lush, so if it's not enough for me, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit for my martini. You can add how much you want, but I'm going over that 50, just a little bit, see? But you do 50 and drink responsibly and don't blame me. Now we have the honey liquor. And with the honey liquor, you use about 20 milliliters. And of course, 20 is not up here. So let's just guess. I'm a lush. So it went up a little. Let's make it go up to 100. There you go. Ooh, I got too much liquor in mine, y'all. <laughs> and this was Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Flavor Liquor. This is whiskey. So then we add about 20 milliliters of apple juice, which we have in this cup. And I'm hoping I can pour it. Ooh, a little bit hit the floor, but that's all right. Then we're going to fill the shaker. It says up to here with ice, but we're gonna go up further with the ice because I have a little lit cord in there. I'm gonna go a little bit further, but we do need room to shake. So you don't want to fill your ice all the way up to the top. Of course, you know how to shake. Mix it up, get it nice and cold. So after that, you're gonna open the top of the shaker, and um, we're always have a looper. Technical difficulties. <laughs> I'll handle it. There it goes. We got. It. Thanks to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells like honey. Then you basically put it in your martini glass. I think we might be able to do both of them. Almost is a little bit small. Gonna take me a sip of that. <laughs> Olive with a toothpick. Ah! Put in your drink. You're missing the olives. Ah! <laughs> and any kind of stuffed olives. The Polish martini. And we're gonna see what it tastes like. Let's see here, Zuli. Ooh, it's nice and cold. Look how that looks. Isn't that cute? Pink is up. Hmm. That actually really tastes good. Y'all, we do not be faking y'all. Like, this is the this first is time we've ever tried this. Yeah. But it's good with my little extra liquor. But yeah, that's good. And so, our dish for today is also a Polish dish. And what it is, I like to call comfort food. It's cold, it's wet outside, so it's something nice and filling. It's nostalgic. It makes you think about the country life, even though I don't know anybody that's Polish. You know, a lot of stuff we eat in America is from different countries. It is a cabbage, a sauteed cabbage with sausage and peppers. And we're gonna serve it with white rice. And it is gonna be so good and hearty. And when you come back, you will see how we will be preparing it for you. I want more of this journey. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. There it is. The Polish Martini. There it is. 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 <laughs> so y'all make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. I'm getting drunk. I'm getting drunk. Okay, my drink. As my sister stated, we're doing a Polish dish. We're doing sauteed cabbage with sausage and peppers. And we're gonna serve it with rice. Yum, yum, yummy. I put in a little olive oil in the pan. And yeah. I'm gonna season it with green peppers, orange peppers, and yellow peppers. That looks so pretty. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> and also, I'm gonna add chicken broth for flavor. And you can use as much as you feel like you need to use. You're gonna mix it up some. And I'm gonna use some of this Slap Your Mom. I love this Slap Your Mom. Yes, yeah, Slap Your Mom is so good and it's crazy because i wrote a book called they don't know about this little and the business that the father owned was called slap your mom now i did not know that that brand existed so writers make sure you research stuff first right because <laughs> i did not research that and also i'm about to add onion powder, onion powder. some garlic and pepper 
I have a little garlic powder. Oh, guess what, guys? That's another blooper. Guess what? It's always blooper in this, but it's okay. We include our bloopers. She didn't open it. I didn't open it. <laughs> I'll handle it. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't handle this, camera man. <laughs> but shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> So we're gonna brown the sausage. And you wanna cut your sausage in round pieces. And we are using smoked turkey toasted kielbasa. She finally opened. <laughs> That's garlic, right? This is garlic powder. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little accent. I'm gonna mix it up. Yes, that was so nice. It looks so festive, doesn't it? Hi, right. we will be right back. Look at that steam coming off. Look at, that, look at steam. that steam coming off. Fresh pepper and cabbage. And we got this sausage over here. Almost ready to be added to the cabbage. Oh, and I just lost two on the side. But that's all right. They just like, ooh, let me out. It's hot in Let me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm going to add a little cayenne pepper. We're going to be adding this together. Now, I'm about to turn this off because this sausage is ready. We don't want to overcook the sausage because it will have to be added to the cabbage to saute some more. And we will be back in a few seconds to show you the finished product with the rice. Yes. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> so now we will add the sausage to our cabbage so we can all saute together. Oh, I'm so in love. <laughs> So in love are we to enjoy the eats, okay? Right. The sips and the eats. What you think, Dolan? Enjoy it all. Look, we tag team everything. And also, I'm going <laughs> to add a little bit of sugar. We add a little, little bit, bit of sugar just to cut the bitterness of the cabbage and the peppers. And we're going to let this saute a little bit longer. Then we will have our rice ready. And then we will be eating and playing a fun game. So with that said, I know y'all see that steam coming off though. Look at that steam coming off. Steam off. Look at that. Okay. Now tell me that don't look good. Gordon Ramsay, we're coming for you. Look at that. You have your rice at the bottom. Your cabbage sausage and peppers on top. And we have a special taste test that I today. My nephew Carter. You ready? Yeah. To taste it? Okay. Drum roll, please. I don't know how to use it. It's good. It's good. It is curry approved. Hey. So now, my sister and I, since we have his word, we are going to try it too. And after we try it, we're coming back to play a game. Okay. Ow, ow. Alrighty. <laughs> Teeny from Poland. I'm almost done, y'all, so don't judge me. This is so good, it's ridiculous. We got a dish from Poland and we have a drink from Poland. And it's so good. Nephew was on point. What you think, sis? Oh my gosh, it's, it's so amazing. I can't even explain. The flavors, the sausage, the peppers, the sauteed cabbage, and the seasonings together. It's just bon appetit. Bon, bon appetit. appetit. He's dancing appetit. on our tongues. We're gonna finish this. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe and share. We'll be back to play a game because we'll be full and tipsy and there's no telling what we will do. Okay, ow, ow. <laughs> game time. <laughs> it is game time. As y'all already knew from the lie detector test, Freda and I are willing to expose each other and we don't have any qualms about it, okay? Because we're gonna be still be friends tomorrow. We might fuss, but we'll still be friends tomorrow. We still gonna be friends tomorrow? Right. <laughs> so what we will be playing is who is most likely to dot 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 and basically what that means is don't say Nika yet Hold up. <laughs> she is ready so nephew <laughs> is going to ask us some random questions we don't know what we will both answer the question and as you can see apps can do anything we got one that says Nika we got one that says Freda. Freda. Basically, when he asks us the question, we will both pick myself or her or vice versa as to who would be the most likely to die, die, die. I will be the first one to pick 
And our cameraman is on you, boo. Debo. Debo. Yeah. <laughs> First question. First question. Who's more likely to steal from Walmart? I don't think either of us still. I either think that's way. what that means. Right. <laughs> but disclaimer, my sister has never stolen from never. Walmart as far as I know. Never. Never. And I haven't either. So, Dang, you ain't gonna give me the same disclaimer? And, well. I gave this chick the disclaimer. <laughs> she gonna be like, never. I don't know if you just steal Now you never know if you steal from Walmart. Oh. When you know for me to steal from Walmart. <laughs> now I may have stolen in your college years. No, I may have stolen some Super Ten. Go back. Oh, so this is in That makes it better. I stole some deodorant. Okay, so Super Ten. One, I stole deodorant one time. Sorry, I got the Super so Ten, which is a Maxwell, Maxway, <laughs> whatever in small towns. Uh, and, and. I spent so much money in Super Ten, I deserve one <laughs> bag on deodorant. Sorry for anybody who. Folks, we're getting super Sorry, guys. I thought it was Walmart. <laughs> I never stole nothing from no damn Walmart. I'm scared of that. They got real cameras and security. Who's most likely to sneak into Wale's whatever? Wale's whatever. Uh, hotel. Hotel room. room, room house. Room, limo. <laughs> limo house, Nika. whatever. Nika. I want to smell that cocoa Nika. butter. Look at you. You don't know Wale. Mm -hmm. He cocoa butter fine. And he's smart. Right up. <laughs> but guess what? When it's her turn, I'm leaving. How about that? We don't. When it's over, she'll be back again. <laughs> I will to smell that cocoa butter. <laughs> Who's most likely to take the most shots at the club? Ooh. Oh, uh, what, girl? Yeah. We will be mukbanging yeah. alcohol, okay? I think we will be Both of going ahead to Both of y'all. <laughs> toe to toe. Toast to that, Dolly. Toe to toe. Well, we can both, uh, okay, <laughs> Look, our line around, is messing girl. it up, y'all. <laughs> clink, clink. Which out the two of you would choose to be happy over rich? Okay, you know what? Wait, let me just say this. I'd rather be happy than rich, but Miss Bougie over here would rather be rich and miserable. Right <laughs> <laughs> up. Right up. Right up. Uh, I ain't ask you, you, oh, oh my Google, you will, you rather be happy than which one you pick, me or you? I would rather be the rich. Okay, so you need to pick Nico. Who would rather be happy than rich? You picked the wrong one. Okay. Last question. Last I'm one. So full. <laughs> right now. Gotta rub my belly. Who's most likely to get naked and run down the strip in Las Vegas? Bucket naked. But naked. All the way down to the underwear. All the way down. Strip. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going viral. <laughs> yes. That's it for our game. But I still think she would get naked because she's kind of like naked right now. So I think she's lying. I think we would both equally. I think we would both get bucket naked on the strip and sh run what? down the strip to go. We got bucket naked. Bless his soul, Burning Man. Bucket naked. We got that from Burning Man. But don't, don't try to play like you would not run. Of Vegas, but bucket, bucket, not bucket, 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 maybe bucket, 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 stuff for you to get into and to be entertained by. So we're gonna toast one more time. Pink is up. Mm -hmm. One more episode down. Please make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share. Until next Thank time, y'all. I'ma head up. <laughs>